गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू द एक्सरसाइज नंबर फोर पॉइंट थ्री फ्रॉम लेसन नंबर फोर इन दिस लेसन इन दिस एक्सरसाइज इन टू द इंस्ट्रक्शन इज यूज द डिविशन मेथड टू फाइंड आउट द एच सी एफ ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नंबर दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू फाइंड देर आर टू नंबर गिव इन ईयर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड थर्टी फाइव so we have to find out the ac shape of these two numbers by uh, by division method okay in a you see that there are two numbers 25 and 35 we have to find out the ac shape that is highest common factors highest common factors of 25 and 35 okay so we see that 35 is a large number so we have to divide 35 by another number that means smaller number 25 after the division we see that here is the 10 remainder which is less than division then we have to divide the 25 by 10 and after then 5 is the remainder this 5 is uh, used to divide this division 10 that is the remainder is zero in this case jab tak aapka remainder zero nahi aayega tab tak aapko divide karna padega and the last division we see that 5 to so, hcf equal to 5 okay in 135 and 165 we uh, see that 135 is a smaller number and 165 is a greater number so we have to divide 165 by the smaller number 135 after the division we see that the last divisor is 15 last divisor is 15 so we can write aca that is highest common factor is 15 okay this is the division method to find out the aca of any numbers here 198 and 368 two numbers 368 is, is the greater number and 198 is smaller number again we have to divide the greater number by the smaller number first then we have the remainder 162 which is obviously less than the division so again the first division 198 is to be divided by the remainder 162 after the division we see that the remainder is again 36 and again we have to divide the uh, second division that is 162 by 36 and after uh, dividing we see the last division is 18 that means and the remainder is zero so last division that is 18 is the ac shape of 198 and 360 in this case 400 and 575 two numbers are given 575 is the greater number so it is to be divided by the smaller number 400 after the division method we see the last division is 25 last division is 25 in which the remainder is zero so we can write a cap equal to 25 okay student now we will start the next exercise number 4.4 which is about the um, uh, lcm lcm uh, uh, we have to find out the lcm of the given numbers given numbers by factorization method okay here are two numbers 12 and 15 you know that the prime factorization of 12 is 2 is divided uh, 12 is divided by the prime number 2 the remainder is uh, sorry quotient is 6 again it is to be divided by the prime number 2 it is divisible by 2 that is why we have divided by 2 and the um, uh, remainder uh, quotient is 3 this 3 is also prime number so we can write the prime factorization of prime factorization of 12 equal to 2 into 2 into 3 similarly prime factorization of 15 3 is a prime number and 15 is to be divided by 3 3 5 is 
okay 5 is also a prime factor so we can write 15 equal to 3 into 5 okay now we have to find out the common numbers between these two factorization factors 3 3 is the prime uh, common factor again two rest of the uh, factors are not common but we have to take all the rest remaining numbers from this 2 2 are taken and 5 is also taken now you will multiply all these factors 3 2 are 6 6 2 are 12 12 5 just 60 the lcm of these two numbers that is 12 and 15 is 60 in second number you see 24 and 36 are two numbers first we will find out the prime factorization of 24 which is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 okay so we can write 12 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 and for 36 we can find out the prime factors of 36 as 2 2 3 3 that means in div by division method we can find out the prime factors of 36 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 2 2 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 12, 3, 36. Now the LCM list common multiples is 2, 2 common. 2, 2 common. That is why 2 is written. Again 2 and 2 common. 2 is written. 3 and 3 is common. It is written 3. But the remaining 3 and this 2 is are also written. And finally 2 2 is a 4, 4 3 is a 12, 12 2 is a 24, 24 3 is a 72 is the answer. Now, in C, we see that two numbers are given 16 and 64. You have to find out the LCM of these two numbers by prime factorization method. First, the prime factor of 16 are 2, 16 is divided by the prime number 2. The quotient is 8. Again, it is divided by 2, the prime number, and the quotient is 4. Again, it is divided by 2, and the quotient is 2. So, we can write the prime factorization of 16 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. In 64, it is divided by the prime factor 2, 64, and the uh, quotient is 32. Again, two is, uh, 32 is divided by 2. My quotient is 16 and so on and finally we can write that 64 prime factorization of 64 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 now we will find out the common two factors uh, in these two numbers 2 2 2 2 2 common 2 2 2 common 2 2 2 common 2 but the rest of the uh, uh, factors 2 into 2 also are to be taken and after multiplying all these factors we have the 64 that means the 60 uh, LCM of 16 and 64 is the 64 okay student in 6 8 and 10 there are three numbers 6 8 and 10 in the similar way, we will first find out the uh, prime factor of 6. It is divided by the prime number 2 and the mm, quotient is the prime number 3. And prime factor of 8, first divided by 2, quotient is 4. Again, it is divided by 2 and the quotient is 2. So, and final, uh, PA pop, that is prime factor of 10 equal to 2. 10 is divided by the prime number 2 and the 5 is the quotient therefore you can write the prime factor of 6 equal to 2 into 3 8 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 and 10 equal to 2 into 2 uh, 2 into 5 so what are the common factors we see 2 2 2 in is written here 2 common but the remaining uh, numbers are 3 5 these numbers are not common but we have to uh, take into account 3 5 2 into 2, 3, 5, 2 into 2. After multiplying all these factors, 120 is the LCM of 6, 8 and 10. Okay, student. Now your homework will be write all these solved sum in your classwork copy. Okay, student. Thank you.